explorers, it's getting colder outside. So this week, we're gonna decode those very cryptic sleeping bag ratings. Boy, you ain't got no money. You got no so there are two different rating systems that are used to rate the warmth and effectiveness of sleeping bags. These are EN or European Norm and ISO or International Standards Organization. Now, both of these work pretty similarly and if your sleeping bag has either of those ratings on it, that means that it's been rigorously tested and they're pretty accurate. But what do all those numbers even mean? Let's dive into it. Most sleeping bags nowadays have two different ratings on them. They have your comfort and your lower limit. Now what this means is your comfort is the temperature that a standard adult human is comfortable at, at that temperature for up to seven hours. Your lower limit is the temperature at which you can survive. You should never buy a sleeping bag based on its lower limit only because let's be real, we don't wanna just survive, we wanna be comfortable. So keep that in mind when you're picking out your sleeping bag. Another thing to keep in mind is that the name of the bag does not necessarily equal the temperature rating. Usually these names are rounded up or down to the nearest five because it sounds nicer in marketing. So if you have a 20 plus sleeping bag, you might wanna check the actual rating and see what the temperature rating actually is. Now keep in mind, if it doesn't have that EN or ISO rating on it, it's not necessarily tested and it's not at the same standard. If you guys buy a sleeping bag from REI, almost all, if not all now, of their sleeping bags have some sort of standardized testing so that they can confidently say what that means. Now women's bags are a little different than men's and we're gonna talk about the differences and why they actually matter. The primary thing is that the insulation in women's bags is in different places than in men's bags. Women's bags also usually only use the comfort rating and are narrower in the shoulder and wider in the hips, which if you know how the typical female body is created, makes sense. Men are usually broader shouldered than women. Women got those childbearing hips, you know, makes sense. The regular in women's bags is also typically shorter. This is due to the fact that the national average in America for women is 5'4", and the national average for men is 5'9", as a study conducted in 2019. Because of this, the regular in a women's bag is usually fit for a person about 5'5". Five five. This really sucks for people like me who are 5'10", yet female. It's important to remember when choosing a sleeping bag that these ratings are guidelines. Every person is different and their bodies run differently. So if you're a person who is constantly cold no matter what, you might need a sleeping bag with a lower temperature rating than the temperature you're gonna be camping at due to the fact that your body is different. Nobody is normal, we're not standard human beings. So keep in mind that all of these are just guidelines. Also keep in mind that what you wear when you're sleeping plays into the effectiveness of your sleeping bag. These bags are tested with a body wearing long underwear bottoms and top, as well as a hat. If you don't sleep in something like that, then your sleeping bag might not be curated to the temperature you're using it at. There are other things that also play into the effectiveness of your sleeping bag, like the shape of it. A mummy bag is typically gonna be better insulated than a rectangle bag, because you're not gonna have a bunch of extra space that your body is working to heat up. The length plays into it the same way. If your sleeping bag is too long, then that extra length is actually working against you and some of the features of your sleeping bag. So hopefully that helped you understand the crazy, very confusing world of sleeping bag ratings. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, all at Pip Explores, and we will see you next week. Bye guys.